Was I supposed to click that and then say all that? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Uh, blue trash, here we go. Sweet. Um, That's going to be a good blooper. Was I supposed to say that? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm supposed to clap it in this one. Obviously, the most traditional sounding bluegrass song on the record, right? Would you guys mm -hmm. agree with that? I would agree with that. Yeah. 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 And uh, this one was, uh, we had written it before heading down, but I think it was like the least prepared. We one. wrote the lyrics the day of. That's yeah. right. Yeah. We <laughs> were really? in the studio, we were scratching stuff out wow. on papers yeah. and coming yeah. up with lyrics. You guys ran away upstairs actually for a little bit. Yeah. So yeah, you had, you had the music, but but no lyrics. Pretty much, yeah. 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 And did you know you wanted to do the halftime section, kind of the double? Time we knew that, time? but yeah. I remember we cut it down in the studio a little bit because we were doing like doubles at one point of. Right. So yeah, we cut a couple of the right. choruses down, and yeah. we actually cut them down each time. So the first time we'd do like a pass of twice before we start singing in the yeah. chorus, and the second time just once, and then the third time we just go right into the chorus without, mm -hmm. without that little singing right away. Part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But we also had the longer endings on this second and third chorus. Yeah, yeah, that one was kind of jumbled and it was sort of, we were figuring it out while we were in there yeah. making it, so. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's the message of the lyric, Blue Trash? <laughs> well, that one was like inspired by um, kind of a response to a song that I'd heard on the on Sirius XM Bluegrass Junction. And it was a band from some uh, bluegrass purists kind of telling bands like us to just back off and leave bluegrass alone. No. However, they're not really understanding that. We love bluegrass. We love bluegrass, yeah. and we're yeah. inspired by, from bluegrass, by bluegrass, and then we take it and then we do something else with it. Yeah. But we're not calling ourselves necessarily a bluegrass band. Right. Yeah. You know, we, You're not just a bluegrass band. We're not just a bluegrass no, band. No, we right. can play bluegrass. We yeah. can. When we first started, we couldn't. Yeah. But we wanted to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, as a producer, one of the things that I loved about working with you guys as opposed to a traditional bluegrass band is the fact that we didn't have to stay within those strict parameters. Like if I want to put a slap delay on your vocal or some strange effects, mm -hmm. or, you know, we could do whatever we want, you know? Mm -hmm. and so I think that's, that's the big difference to me is just, you know, not having to stay within those strict kind of guidelines of, you know, you can't do anything crazy and, you yeah. know. Um, yeah, and that's a tough thing about like people want to put a genre on, it, on every band and I, I get it because like where do you fit however sure. we're just making music exactly we're taking elements of what we like and what we know and just putting it together adding our own flavor to it yeah, absolutely and it can also uh, like I know personally like I didn't listen to a lot of bluegrass before I started this band and playing this kind of music has exposed me to so much sure. other bluegrass music and I feel like we are doing the same for other folks who maybe haven't heard of bluegrass music as well, and we can be an intro to that traditional music as well. Yeah, like I, I started listening to a lot of like The Devil Makes Three and Old Crow Medicine yeah. Show when we first started this yeah. band, and then that led me to like the old bluegrass that I had missed, Bill Monroe and Scruggs, obviously, and that kind yeah. of stuff. So, Steve yeah. Martin too. Steve, Steve Martin, Martin. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. In the same way, I didn't grow up listening to much bluegrass at all. It just wasn't, you know, on my radar, but. Uh, because of working with bands like yourself and the Steel Drivers, I've I've been turned on to more and more of it. But mm -hmm. I don't think there's anything wrong with pushing the boundaries and and blending genres. You yeah, know? well, definitely. And like you think of where bluegrass came from, it's you know it was a thing of its own with Bill Monroe and 
Lester Flats and Earl Scruggs, they, they invented a style of music that wasn't there. Yeah. They took country and kind of folk and put it together. And yeah. it's kind of like the punk of that time. Exactly. Yeah, totally, yeah. 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 Shouldn't be cornered off too much. You know, Absolutely. It's, it's still an invention of its own, yeah. yeah. yeah.